guy. It's so, <laughs> it's so, it sounds it sounds like we're fucking this. Like ah uh, ah. Uh. <laughs>
So, yeah, that's why I wanted to, um, you know, to get that. Now, it's at this point that... Whoa! That Psycho Pocket will be start becoming useful. So, yeah. I wonder how long you'll survive. They won't survive long. Trust me on this. Alright, now, you really want to get Necessity out the way because he has way too much EXP. I mean, not EXP. <laughs> Well, he has way too much HP. As far as EXP is concerned, 760 EXP is not bad at all. It's not it's not anything to scuff at. Ew! Yeah. Get that bitch in the ear. Uh, what was that? Jack Koch is a killer? Who the fuck is Jack Koch? I... I don't know. I played this game for years, and I never questioned that. Like, who the fuck is Jack Koch? I don't know. I don't get it. Otherwise than that, though. Now. Maybe it's best just not to question it at all. Boom! Suck it, bitch! Oh, shit, I hit the wrong one. Hurry up! Though I will admit that attack is kind of creepy, though, so you got that. However, it's not enough! Now! Bow, bow, bow. There you go. Alright, let's call it a day. Junior looks so good in his trunks. Just gotta say that. And just so you know, Junior is basically the same or slightly older than, than Guinan. So, there you go. And Albedo, too. He is the oldest brother, even though he's technically, you know, stunted his own growth. Otherwise than that, though, if memory serves, I think they're in their... Huh. I think they're late 20s now. Yeah. Hilbert effect active. Gnosis materialization complete. Pretty much. In any case, <laughs> new enemy here. Um, Val... Vocalation? Oh my gosh. In any case, 960 H um, HP. Let's see here. He's been to Thunder! So, um, Xion is useful here. Otherwise than that, though. Get this bitch out the way. His break zone is ABB. Yes, ABB. So, you'll have to break a lot to get to where he is in his break zone. I love your charm. Good for you? <laughs> yeah! There you go. Now! Luckily for us, Cosmos, um, when you hit the circle button, that acts as zone A. So, there you go. Just want to ah, put that out. So, Cosmos, Junior, and, um, Momo can hit the A zone. Whereas, everyone else just has B and C. So, they're, they're, um, like, Chaos and the others. Ha! Their zones for the circle are just B. So, just so you know. However, if you keep attacking this guy, he'll use second horn to increase the attack of his allies. So that is a problem. Hurry up. There you go. And yeah, they have that annoying ass status element and shit. Bye, bitch. Yeah! Uh oh. Hurry up already. Oh, shit. I might want to heal. Before I do that, though. Uh, what the f- I boosted before you! Huh, bitch. There you go. About to say, please don't hit Junior before I heal him. What the fuck was that? No! Oh, you bitch! Uh... Which one of you did it? Was it you? Oh yeah, I'm I'm looking at, at directly at you. Um, damn it all. Here. Ah. Now you want to know the fucked up part about Sonosaga 2 viewers? The fucked up part is that you can't buy any items. So yeah, the items that you collect throughout the game are the items that you'll have to work with. There are no shops in this game. Hence why you're wondering, why is he using a max money code like he normally does? 
there's no need to in this game because there's no shops. So, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Boom! Yeah. Suck it, bitch! Uh oh. Crap. Oh. Say, don't hit Junior. Hurry up! Kick its ass already. We're done. Looks like I had a little too much fun. Yeah, and we wasted a little bit of time in the process. But good job, guys. Good job. Oh dear. And yeah, that doesn't explain the large amount of amount of enemies inside of Momo's head. Oh my god. Otherwise, the Nanto. What the fuck is this? Forbidden device. It appears to be an encephalon dive device. Okay, so what is it useful for? I guess we'll find out at some point. Yeah, this, there was like a house or something that was on top of this, but I destroyed that off screen before the episode. So, yeah, to save some time, of course, obviously. Alright, now then. Where is he? I sworn it was an enemy over there. Oh, well. I was so prepared to hit that trap, too. Oh, well, maybe next time. Hmm. Now, there is something over here. However, we won't be able to unlock it. Yet. However, in the next set... Oh. Hmm. Sorry about the viewers. I was... I lagged there for a second. I thought, were, I thought an enemy was about to attack me. <laughs> no, no, no. But, yeah. In, in a later part of this section, rather... A later... Um area that looks like this we'll be able to unlock that um that section later but for now don't worry about it it's it's just a giant ass rock slide in the side of a mountain so there you go i wonder how long you'll survive but yeah the majority of these enemies are relatively the same so oh yeah yeah just get them out the way be right back all right viewers i'm back on screen i managed to take out all the enemies in this section of the area oh man Fucking annoying enemies, but you know, that's just how it is. In any case, um, which area did we come from? Get that one. There's a rock here, but I didn't open this treasure chest yet. So yeah, destroy the rock, get the chest, which is skill upgrade bees. Let me get four of them. Nice. The subconscious domain actually gives you a lot of good, um, a lot of good treasure here. So it is definitely worth, um, coming here to, you know, do shit. Now, off screen. Um, taking care of all those enemies. I got a couple new abilities. I got the revert spell for Momo. I got um, Focus 1 for Junior and Cosmos. Focus 1 will basically um, restore 10% of your EP, your ether points, when you use the stock command. So every time you use stock to boost up, you know, to get more tax in and shit, um, you'll recover some EP at the same time. That is definitely worth going for because it is a very good ability. So, I hope you did the GS side quest to get that. <laughs> because if not, you're kind of out of luck. So, that's just me. Ah! There you go, bitch. Now, I think you got to destroy those rocks in order to um, move a log downwards. So, yeah, there is a log that, that we'll have to cut to um, move it downstream. There's an enemy down over here. And there's a trap here as well. Be sure to use that or use that on the enemy. So, there you go. Yoink! Boom! There you go. What's this? The guardian tree? No. I don't know what it is. It's just there. Huh. It might be important for something later, though. Just keep that in mind. Yeah! There you go. That's a little shortcut in case you want to get on back to the other side of the, um, you know, of the river. So there you go. Moving on, then. Uh, please tell me we got some new enemies here. Because I'm sick of running into those giant axe enemies. Jack Koch is a killer. I don't know who he is. Let's see. New enemy? Come on. Did you feel in danger? Stay back. Yeah, pretty much. In any case, new enemy here. Information type. Kind of an odd name for an enemy. In any case, um, 660 HP. Let's see, they are weak to fire! So Ziggy is useful here. Nice. What the fuck was that? Did it really? Viewers, watch this. Watch. Oh yeah, their break status is BB. Ah! 
ah, ah. Oh god, it's so, it, it, so, it, so, it sounds like we're fucking this. Like, ah, ah. <laughs>
got no time for wusses like you. I really don't have time for them. Be right back. Alright, viewers, I'm back. All screen, I managed to get rid of all the enemies. Now, we got two logs here. This one will lead you across. However, this one... Whoa, whoa! Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but, yeah, come down here. Ah! There, there is a couple more enemies down here, by the way. And over here, you can find a secret passage! Whoa! Well, there you go. But, yeah, this will lead you back to the other side of the area. So, if you want to use the save point that's at the beginning section of the area, there you go. Unfortunately, as soon as you try to come back, the enemies will probably have respawned at that point. So, um, needless to say, yeah, kill the enemies. And they are really annoying, obviously. Let's see, um, there's nothing over here, so let's continue on then. But yeah, I wanted to, sh I wanted to show that off first. There is a treasure chest over there, but unfortunately, I don't think we'll be able to get it right now. But later on, we'll be able to. Just, well, not in this section. So, there you go. At least, I don't think you will. Boom! Damn! I mean, I didn't mean to destroy nature, but I guess that's just the way it is. Oh, we can't get it now! Okay, never mind. Forget what I just said. Destroying that tree, that's you? The Boost Max! Yes! The Boost Max is a, um... Well, is I... We have to get two of them. Oh, wow. Hmm. In any case, the Boost Max increases your maximum gauge plus one up to five. It is really good, especially for boss fights. However, they are part of the Too Good to Use Club, in my opinion. So, in essence, I don't recommend using them until, like, the end-game bosses. And trust me, the end-game bosses in Zillotaka 2 hit hard. They are some of the hardest bosses to date. Zillotaka 1's bosses don't even come close. Not even Zillotaka 1's final boss. So, yeah, needless to say... Oh, it's nothing over here. Well, needless to say... Ah, it's good. Oh, I thought there was a rock over here. Never mind. But yeah, needless to say, save those for the end game. Uh, what the fuck? Dalamut? No, no. So this is the fear that Sakura holds. Look out behind you! What the hell? <laughs> what is this thing? Get it out! They ready? Let's spread out a cycling and take care of this. Are those Udu waves? Rubido, look! The waves. The waves are coming. Why are you just standing what? there? What are you talking about? <gasps> ah! oh. No! Inside the Udo simulator. Dude! Oh my god, that's creepy! Ah! Dude! I would be terrified too! <laughs> Cause it's time for a mini boss! I've got no time for mixes like you. Well, not really. They're not mini bosses, but we got a new enemy here. Infected URTV. Now, 480 HP, all their break zones is CC. So, there you go. Ah, uh, CC, CC. In any case, there you go. Ironically, they are weak to lightning or thunder elemental attacks and aura. So that way, you know, yeah, that's why I have, um, you know, chaos and Xion in this fight. Because they are very useful here. Sa, sa, sa. I just, I, I, I just needed to say that. Za, za, za. Za, za, za. Boom, ba, Za, za, za. Ga, ga, ga. Boom, ba, And win score. No, no, no. No. There you go. So predictable. No problem. <laughs> predictable ass infected URTVs. Hmm. There you go.
Ooh, a skill upgrade A, nice. Wow. Whoa! Ooh, windmills! If Vivi was here, he would say, But, Zidane, look at the windmills! Uh, I miss Vivi and Zidane in the game. <laughs> I know, I know. But our journey together was sweet and awesome, and I won't forget it. Yoink! Come on, bitch! There you go. Come into my domain. Yeah, we got more URTVs here. I'll burn you to a crisp. Literally. Ah! Za, za, za. Don't be surprised if I spam net viewers. Za, za, za. Za, za, za. Google -ga. <laughs> nice. Alright, yeah, we got more of these bastards. I'll take care of them off screen, obviously. Hey, bitch! Over here! Alright, viewers of Mac. Whew, I took care of all those infected URTVs. Hopefully, we made it to our destination point. The beach! Well, hopefully. Time to get a tan. Ah, I see the ocean. That's a good sign. Um, so, where's the sand? <gasps> what the? Oh, shit, we missed one. Hey, dude, how's it going? That ass shot, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Whoa. Okay. What the hell? Oh my god! It's so sh it's so ugly. It's blacking out my screen. What the fuck is that? Oh, that's not good. Coming at you, bitch! <laughs> it's just time for a boss fight versus level four. Yeah, I get it. Level four. Now. Here I come. Level four is cerebral functions offline. In the case, level four, 5,760 HP. He is weak to thunder and, and slash attacks. So, Shion and Cosmos are, are good for this fight. Or, or as well, he takes 150% from Aura, so Chaos is good here too. Now, his break zone is CCBB. So, you'll have to utilize the stop command, like, a lot here, in order to utilize this correctly. Now, um, let's see here, as far as stealing is concerned, does he have anything worth stealing? Yes, he does. He has a skill upgrade E. However, it's a 20% chance of getting it. So, yeah, you gotta be really, really quick with it. Damn! Bitch! Alright, let's try getting that item on. Let's try stealing that item first. Psycho Pocket! Ooh. Ooh, well, I gotta eat the pack. Diaz is not what I was actually looking for. But let's keep trying, because Cosmos has it too. Ooh. One! Ah, uh, it's Final Fantasy IX all over again! No, no. <laughs> Alright, stock up. Keep on stocking up, baby! Okay, you can stop. Thanks. Alright, now then. Let's see. CCBB. Alright, let's wait until Junior's turn then. And let's go in... Actually, let's get Thunder Sword on Junior. Power. There you go. Even though we don't have Shion in the battle party and stuff, we can still make use of the Elemental Sword text. Alright, now let's see here. CC. CC. Stop. Okay, so, as soon as you get the CC, go to BB with Cosmos. And get that bitch in the air! Ha! Charging! Charging! Bang, bang! Alright, now it's in the air. Now, get that bitch! Here you go! Yeah! Stop! Oh. Boom! 
All right, try not to go overboard, Junior. I don't want to kill it yet. Yeah, it's going to die. <laughs> we'll get more skill points at the end. See ya, bitch! Let's call it a day. There you go. It, well, it, it doesn't matter. I'll, I'll, I'll just have to go in. Um. Oh shit! Six hundred. Damn! Not bad. Not bad. That that is a sexy amount of class and skill points. I like it. I like it. Whew. Yeah. Cosmos, Momo, and Junior make the perfect tag team. Huh? Albedo? Dude! I told you to leave Rubido alone. Variants aren't monsters. You guys are just weak. Albedo! Dude, you trying to kill him? Stop it! Dude. You'll kill him. Rubido? Damn. Don't look at me like that! Rubido! Wow. Now I see where Albedo's obsession with, with Junior comes in here. All right, we're back in the Yuri F Institute. Cool. In any case, yeah, at least we got some cool backstory there. Well, or a little bit more about Albedo's personality. You notice before we went into the subconscious domain summer? Yeah, you notice that those other URTVs were making fun of Junior. Y you know what I mean? So yeah, Albedo was pissed off at that, remember? So that being said, Albedo's all like, fuck you assholes. How dare you can um, mess with my brother, and stuff like that. You know what I mean? But yeah, he was literally about to kill the guy, so Junior had to step in and, and say, um, little, um, well, yeah, well, little bro in this instance, since Junior is the older brother, but, yeah, you might want to stop it before you kill him. So, yeah. What? What were you thinking? Number 623's badly injured! Hmm? Huh? Is that what this is about? All he's gotta do is just regenerate. What's the problem? Huh? Regenerate? Regenerate. Like this. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> hey guys, look, I'm headless! Uh, not so much. See? So he had that ability since he was a kid? You idiot! Damn! Don't you ever pull anything like that again! If you die, you can't come back to life! Damn. You mean... Are you saying... You can't regenerate? Of course not. Of course not! That's a special ability only you possess. Wow. Only me? <laughs> You're both gonna die and leave me behind? <laughs> I'll be no! no! <laughs> I don't wanna be alone! I wanna die too! Stop it! Don't say things like that! Now you're making me sad too! Yeah, me too, little dude. Negredo? Ruby, no! Don't leave me behind! <laughs> oh, that is awful. So yeah, Albedo discovered his ability to use his regenerative powers when he was a kid. Where is he going? Hmm. Yeah, remember that forest area I told you guys about here? Well, we're going back there now. Got plot. But, yeah. 
That scene what that scene did put a tear to my eye though, I will admit. Albedo was genuinely or genuinely sad cause his brothers didn't have that ability. Only he has it. I can totally understand his feelings. There's no What is he doing? I don't know, but Ever since that day, ever since Albedo learned he couldn't die, he somehow started to change. Change? Really? We didn't understand. There was no way we could have understood. I couldn't know what it felt like to have a body that wouldn't die. Death is rest for the soul. Yeah. Who was it? Who said that? If the body did not die, and the fears born in the mind just continued to pile up, the world would be nothing more than an eternal prison. I can see that. In the beginning, Albedo and I were one. Huh? Because you're both from the same fertilized egg? No. He was literally attached to my back from conception until the 28th week. Conjoint twins. His heart was attached right around here. What? Oh. Occasionally, due to incomplete cell division, twins are born sharing some portion of their internal organs. That's right. Our special abilities, the power to halt or stimulate cell growth, are both based on the same basic principle. Right. But after we were split apart, our powers headed off in different directions. So that's why he's so short. And that's why I shouldn't have just abandoned him. Junior, couldn't you try? Just one more time to approach him. <clears throat> well, you know, we're both pretty stubborn. <laughs> True. Sorry about that, viewers. My cell phone um, alarm went off. Might be. Well, yeah. At least now, at least now we know a little bit more about Albedo and what he went through. You know. It's just, it's sad. It really is. What he had to go through as a kid. And then that incident in, in Old Milsha that fucked him up. Ever since, ever since this day. Yeah, it's, it's, it's fucking awful. That knowing that you have a body that won't be able to die. Your soul won't be able to find rest. And stuff like that, just like Ziggy said. If the body didn't die and you kept on living forever and ever and ever and stuff like that, it, at some point, and stuff, it will drive you insane. Even if you have eternal life and, you know, you're immortal and shit like that, what's the point of living if the people that you love aren't there with you? That's what Albedo was thinking. That's what I can perceive anyway. Oh, Helmer! Commencing with neural monitoring of unit number 666. Membrane electrical potential, stable. Spontaneous brainwave frequency of number 667 shifting from 20 to 28 hertz. Calm down, children. Don't get flustered. Stabilized, 8 hertz. That's better, just like that. So these are the URTVs. Dimitri, will they be all right? I don't want to hurt these children, even for Sakura's sake. I'd heard they were young, but... I didn't expect them to be this young. You're pretty sentimental for a soldier, Helmer. Hmm. I believe a soldier's duty 
is to protect human life. This time, Sakura will be with you too. Guess we're going back in. Yeah, we actually are going back in. To, to the subconscious domain. This time, we're in subconscious domain winter. Yes. With new enemies, too. Just like last time, the target point for this mission is the beach. Albedo, Negredo, let's go. Right. Alright. While the ghost boys go and do their thing, uh, we're here, too. Alright, now, we're in the winter version of the subconscious domain. Uh, let me show off one more enemy before we end the episode, so I can give you a taste of what's like, of what it's like here. Because we're in an ice and snow area! The only one in the game, by the way. Let's see. With her on our side, we can't lose. Exactly. New enemy here, Catharasis, or however you pronounce the name. 1,470 HP. I'm assuming they're like the other guys from the summer version. Let's see. Their break zone is CB. They're with you fire! So, Ziggy is perfect for this, um, for this section. So, yeah, be sure to bring him in. Now, then. Yeah! Unfortunately, Cosmos is not going to be useful in this section, unlike she was in the last section. So, when you get the chance, be sure to, you know, switch her out and, you know, do your thing. Now, then. Alright, now, let's see. Switch out to you, Ziggy. I'll destroy you. Yeah, I'll kick that ass! <laughs> Viewers, I, I just gotta say, I love the subconscious domain areas. I, I love them! Not only that, the summer version is nice, but the, but the winter version is my favorite. Especially for the boss that we're gonna be fighting at the end of the, of the zone. So... <laughs> You'll see what I mean when we get there. You, those that haven't played the game, I'm sure you'll be pleasantly surprised. So, yeah, pretty much. Now then, on the ground, bitch. And when I say stay down, you stay down. Now, CB! Ah! Yeah, go my fist. Whoa! Okay, let's heal up first then. I mean, I could go and redo that boss fight with level A, or rather, level 4 fail, and get that, that skill upgrade E. But then again, I, I did manage to get the, the skill point bonus and stuff like that at the end of that fight. So really, I kind of don't want to tempt fate because, yeah, if I redo that fight just to get that item, I may not be able to get the item. You see what I mean? So, yeah, pretty much. Get down on the ground! Dickhead. The outcome was decided even before the battle began. Right? I mean, you already knew you were going to lose. <laughs> six, 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 eight, EXP boost. Nice. Nice game. Yeah, I mean, we know Junior has the mark of the beast. And shit like that, because he literally is a beast. Trust me, he is. Junior is one of the best DPS in pretty much all three games. So, yeah, he is a beast. But in any case, we're, we've made it to the subconscious domain winter version. However, what awaits us here? Will Rubido and the others from this timeline be able to cure Sakura's illness? Or is she permanently dead? And what about Albedo? Find out next time. You guys enjoy it, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more gaming events from me. Hit the bell to notify whenever I upload new stuff on YouTube. Got something to say? Leave a comment. So next time, dudes and dudes, this is Mike from Race Break Gaming, and I hope your race breaks. Have a good day, bros and brosettes. Smell you later.